Hello friends. So in this particular video, we are going to learn about a very, very, very powerful command in Selenium called switch to active element. Okay. So um, it's not that this uh, command is something new which has uh, come in Selenium 4. It's a very old uh, command. It's a very old versions of Selenium. Okay. But uh, the reason I'm taking up this video is uh, I've realized many of the people do not know this uh, command or the power of this command which can help us to overcome many difficult problems while we automate the applications. Okay, so um, it's it's a very simple thing. So I'll, I'll just take up a quick video on how can we use it. Okay, so let's let's jump on to the coding part. Okay, now uh, I've done something already. So I'll just explain that. Okay, what I've done is I've created a Maven project right here. You can see, right? So it's a simple, simple, simple maven project um, the default packages that we get by default when we create a maven project i've deleted that okay okay so that's about the project structure now the changes that i've done in perm.xml by default you get the junit dependency right so i have just removed that dependency because we did not want to uh, work with junit rather we wanted to work with testng right so i've added the test ng dependency the web driver manager dependency and the dependency for selenium right test ng selenium all of us know web driver manager uh, i'll just give, uh, give us uh, one second overview uh, web driver manager can be used to launch your browsers okay so rather than uh, having the chrome driver executable or any of the browser executables we can go with web driver manager okay fine so uh, these things I have put the dependencies about nothing else apart from that okay so here I have a class called active element right so within SRC test Java I've created a class called active element and a uh, very basic coding is done right here as you can see web driver manager or chrome driver setup launching the chrome browser maximizing the browser putting the basic implicit weights and i have navigated to a website that's all guys that's all that i've done okay so what, what are we going to do now we're just going to run this code and then we will see where do we land and then how can we use this switch to active element okay so i'll just give a quick run okay so we have got the browser launched and now we are navigating to the website right so we are done right we wrote the code only till here now what are we going to do here that guys is see for example i want to click on this username and then i want to click on this password followed with i want to click on this login button right that's the typical uh, flow that i'm doing you can implement this anywhere but right now okay so what you'll have to do you'll have to take three web elements right web element of this particular box web element of this particular box and then web element of this particular box right the magic that we're going to see today is we'll just take the web element of this box and then we can just click or uh, i mean we can just write here and click on this without having any web elements right how are we going to do that let's check out okay so i'll open my developers tool right okay uh, let me bring it down great okay so let me inspect this okay so this is an input tag with an id text username right so let me take this we know that its username is admin right so i'll go to my eclipse okay Fine. So what do we write typically? Driver dot find element right by dot ID. This was the ID that we saw there, right? So we are going to do uh -huh, sorry. Okay. Dot send keys, right? And what we saw there was this is the username right now 
I don't want the IDs of or the web element for this particular uh, input box and this particular button, right? What, are we, what can we do? We can simply do driver dot switch to dot active element dot send keys and we can say keys dot tab right now let me explain you what do you mean by driver switch to dot active element right so this switch to active element switches the driver control to the element which is currently active okay so just before this line what we had done we had performed an operation on this username text box right so we had performed an operation on this text box so say i have written here admin right now if you see here guys right now my control is in username box right so if my control is in username box that means at the current instance this is the text box to which selenium is going to consider as a active element okay now i am saying driver or switch to dot active element that means my driver is saying that okay this is my active element right and then i want to say send keys keys dot tab right so if i press tab here i comes here by default right i do not need a web element for this correct okay so my password is this okay so as i am on this text box by default i do not need this particular web element anymore right because the selenium has switched over its control to this text box by itself correct so what i can say okay now i can say driver dot find element by dot id oh sorry 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 guys i go into the flow sometimes <laughs> okay driver dot switch to dot active element again at this instance password is my active element right because i press tab earlier so i'll directly do send keys and what do i do want to do send keys the password admin one two three right and now i want to press a tab again right so let me do it right here okay so do the password i mean type the password and then go for keys dot tab again okay so it will do it will press the pass it will type the password like admin one two three and then it will put the tab again get it and then when i say enter so that was a login button on which it has press entered right so what i'll do is um okay so driver dot switch to dot active element again this time the active element would be the password box right because we had last time performed an operation on this password box and then we had pressed tab so this time the active element would be the login button itself right okay so dot uh -huh, no sorry okay yep we can do send keys or we can directly do click okay so let's do a click operation dot click okay fine so and one more thing let's let's remove this like okay i can direct uh-huh sorry okay so let me remove this right so what i've done in username box type admin and then press a tab it then goes to the password box by default right so switch to active element so this time it would be the password text box and then press the type the password press tab so it goes to the login button and then there i want to click right and now let me assert that in my page url there should be a word called dashboard right so let me check if i've logged in successfully or not for doing that what we'll be doing is assert dot assert true maybe i'll put right assert true okay and i will say driver dot get title 
sorry no get url uh -huh, where's that okay dot contains dash uh -huh. okay dashboard right so after that i'll put an assertion that okay my url should contain dashboard word right and that's all guys right now let me run this code again so i'll just save it and i'll run okay so my browser is launched okay so you see guys we have typed username password and my login is also pressed and i have navigated to the my home page right okay i haven't said driver that quick so it won't quit the browser actually but you see here right run one passes one so we have just taken a web element of one single web uh, text box and then we did all other operations by default right now you must be wondering that okay but why why do i need this at all because i will get the uh, idea of password box i'll get the idea of this login button so what is the need you're right guys you'll get it here right this is a sample website but many a times in our real-time applications we do get such text boxes or such divs or spans or such tags wherein you want to operate but for which the uh IDs may be dynamic or uh, whose experts would be very complex or you may find difficulty getting that expert, right? Getting that element. So for those particular conditions, if now the only uh, issue is the tab sequence, right? You should understand the tab sequence for that particular element that you want to operate, right? So pressing a tab and you reach to that particular web element to which you want to operate, then you can simply say driver or switch to active element and then perform your operation. You just don't need to find the X part. You can just say switch to active element and do whatever you want, right? So this particular command is going to help you in that particular conditions wherein you can't find the X part and you want to operate. So just go to that by pressing the tab and then switch to the active element and do it. Okay, so you will get read of that particular heading, right? Okay, thank you so much guys for watching the video and do let me know for any questions in the comment section. Okay, bye-bye, thank you and keep coding.